A wooden mallet is an essential shop made tool and today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way I've found to make one. What's going on guys, I'm Jody. This is Inspire Woodcraft. Today we're gonna to make this simple joiner's mallet out of some three quarter inch maple and some CA glue. The piece of maple that I found had a bit of a curve to it, so I needed to square that up and flatten it out with the joiner and the planer. Projects like this really benefit from having true flat stock. Now I just wanna let you guys know that links to some of our other videos and tools and equipment I used in this video can be found in the description box right down below this video. Just look for the show more button if you're using a desktop and look for a little arrow shaped icon next to the video title if you're on a phone or a tablet. That'll open up the video description and it's where you can also find promo codes, free templates, and links to all our contact and social media as well. Now once I had this piece of maple flat and true, I could cut it up to the final pieces that I needed. For this mallet, I needed two pieces at three and a quarter by two inches, two pieces three and a quarter by five inches, and one piece an inch and a quarter by 12 inches. This next step is optional, but I think it makes for a more comfortable handle, and that's to put a chamfer on all four corners. To make sure all the chamfers were the same length, I set up a stop block right about nine inches and repeated that cut on all four sides. With woods like cherry and maple that are prone to router burn marks, it helps to have a sharp, clean bit and also helps if you reduce the router speed. To assemble, I'm going to use my trusted Starbond CA glue and accelerator. I've used Starbond for a long time and I really love how many options they have for different applications. The folks at Starbond are giving our viewers a 10% discount by going to starbond.com and entering the code INSPIRE10 at checkout. So if you've ever been on the fence about CA glue in the shop, this would be a great time to check them out and save yourself 10%. I typically use a little more than necessary with mallets for an extra strong bond since they clearly take a beating. I run a bead along all four sides of one of the smaller pieces and spray accelerator on the mating surface. The accelerator makes it bond almost immediately so I use another piece as a guide for alignment. Then I attach the handle and the second center piece in the same way. For the second outer piece, I use the same method as before with a little extra love in the center. With the mallet fully assembled, I can cut the faces off with the miter saw. I typically use a three degree miter and sand off any imperfections and burn marks with the belt sander. Putting a chamfer around all the corners of the mallet not only matches the handle, but helps prolong the life of the faces as there won't be any sharp corners to splinter or break apart as it gets used. Like most shop made tools, a coat of boiled linseed oil helps protect the wood a little and brings out the figure in the wood. And that's it. Super easy to make, durable, and a great way to use up scrap wood. Don't forget to check out starbond.com and use the discount code INSPIRE10 at checkout to save yourself 10%. As always, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next video.